Have you ever experienced excess foam on the surface of your pond? It might look something like someone squirted a bunch of detergent in. So today I wanted to quickly talk about what causes the foam and why most of the time it's nothing to worry about. If you don't already know me, my name is Kev and the aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, you might like to subscribe and visit my website ozponds.com. The most common cause of pond foam is organic compounds mixing with the water. As we know water is H2O and sometimes the organic compounds bond with the oxygen inside the water and it holds the oxygen together and produces froth on the surface of the pond. Kind of like the froth on a beer. The organic compounds could be anything from decaying plant materials or algae, fish waste, uneaten fish food, bacteria and microorganism activity. There's a heap of organic stuff being processed inside the pond continuously. So when the foam is being caused by organics, then the easiest course of action is to remove some. You can vacuum or net out some of the dead or decaying plant material, clean your filters, or even doing a water change will remove some organic compounds present in the water column. You can also make sure you aren't overfeeding the fish, or if the fish waste is the problem, you might need to look at rehoming some of them or increasing the filtering capacity of the pond or increasing the frequency of how often you flush out the filters. Sometimes when the fish are spawning, they can really stir the pond up and create a lot of foam. I haven't really had an issue with that with the small varieties of fish that I keep, but I know it can be quite a common problem with koi. I have often noticed foam though after seeing lots of frog spawn. Even temperature and weather events can cause foam. At the moment here it's spring and one day you'll want to have a swim and the next day you're rugged up like it's winter. When the water's warmer the bacteria are more active and this means that the pond may be releasing more gases than it was just a few days earlier. Wind and waterfalls can also help the oxygen and organics mix and thus create more foam. Sporting behaviour and the weather you have no control over so you just need to be patient and let nature run its course. Sometimes however the foam could be a problem. If the foam is caused by pollutants entering the pond then you need to fix that. In a natural pond that fills with runoff that could be using swales and plants to help remove pollutants as the water makes its way to the pond. In a backyard man-made liner pond like mine, you really don't want to allow any runoff to enter the pond. That way you know nothing nasty is getting in. Algae boom and bust cycles could be another cause of foam that you want to get under control. Of course, if the pond is new, you need to expect that nasty algae phase, but a mature pond shouldn't be experiencing large boom and bust algae cycles. It's completely normal to have some algae, it's actually beneficial, you just don't want it dominating the pond. If it's dominating the pond, there's a nutrient imbalance and you need to get on top of it. I've got plenty of videos that talk about creating a harmonious ecosystem and natural ways to treat algae, so I'll link a few of those in the description if you're interested. Keeping a pond doesn't need to be hard or expensive. Most of the time the foam is completely natural and easily remedied. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to tickle the thumbs up button. If I put you to sleep, sweet dreams. Either way, thanks for watching. See ya.